If you like this video, make sure to visit our Vimeo page and follow us to get the latest update. And 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 Mahesh, not right now. Towards the later part of the uh, session, I have some questions for you. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. about uh, about some of these diagrams because especially this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Share sure. some other diagrams too, okay? So I want you to, uh, and by the way, you're going to send the PowerPoint presentation. Have you done that, Mahesh? No, no, no. PowerPoint presentation, I told that I will be doing once I done with the initial classes of this uh, data flow and everything. So till now, we have not done the, any, till now, we have not completed the topic number three. So we have to wait, okay? So by uh, next Monday or Tuesday, I'm going to be sending the PowerPoint. Okay, and that contains everything, right? All yeah, the, yeah, all the, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, exactly. Okay, this is the diagram. I've got some questions to you. This about, is okay? very, very important diagram. Actually, this is very, very important. See, last few classes we are discussing about the architect now. So, how this architect of the data flows from the source finance to the SAP central finance? This is very, very important. So, if you see this diagram here, there are three. See, there are okay. There are three. There are three applications are there. One is going to be called as source system, and the middle one we all know that this is going to be calling it as the SLT, uh, SAP Replication Transformation Server, and the, the 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 receiving server is going to be the receiving server is going to be Central Finance System. So, normally when you go with SAP ECC, forget about the non-SAP, forget forget about the non-SAP for a meanwhile. Whenever you go with an SAP ECC interface to the Central Finance System, so as I told you that. In the initial class, when we are starting the class, okay, so we have to execute in a report. There is a note which has been given to you all. So you have to execute in a report to make sure that all the applied notes are going to be implemented in your source system. Now, there are three interfaces are there. There are three interfaces are there, very, very important. There are three interfaces. What are those three interfaces? One is going to be calling it as a replication of FICO posting. Very, very, if you have a pen and paper, something like that, we can make a note also. Okay, so there are three interfaces. The one is going to be calling it as a replication of FICO. So here you can see the first one. So I'm using the word called as a replication. So when I call it as a replication of an FICO, so when you see this arrow mark, it is going to take the data from which table? It is going to flesh the data from the CFIN underscore ACC HD and the CFIN underscore ACC ID. Very, very important. So when I take this kind of information, the FICO interface is going to flesh the data from these two tables. Okay, and there is one more interface we are going to be calling it as a replication of CO internal posting. CO internal posting actually it will always take the data very very important. It will always take the data here. If you see this arrow mark, it is going to take the data from the AUFK. AUF, sorry, it is going to take the data from the COBK. COBK is nothing but which is the header table, which is going to be calling it as a header table of the controlling. So if you see this arrow mark, this interface is going to take the data from the CO interface. And the last interface, which is going to be calling it as a, which we call as a replication of CO objects. That is going to be called a fund cost object. We call them as a cost object. The cost objects will take the data from the AUFK. So one is if CFIN underscore ACCHD, that is for the finance and the controlling. And the second one is going to be calling it as a COBK. And the third one, we are going to be calling it as AUFK. So these are the three interfaces. These are going to be calling it as three accounting interface for fletching the data from the source system to the target system. Now you can ask me a question here. What are the interfaces names? So there are three interfaces names are there. Just I'll put it on the board. Okay, you can make a note. So one interface name is going to be, so you always remember these all the interfaces. The first interface is going to be very, very important. Okay, so we I'm just making it as F I N S. Please make a note. Okay, this is a certification question also. C fin underscore A C underscore D O C. Please because we are replicating the documents. So do, which documents we are replicating? Finance document that is F I C O document. So I'm going to be putting. So A C is nothing but accounting. A C is nothing but accounting document. So which what you are going to do generate. This is the first interface where we are going to be calling this is the replication of FICO postings, the replication of FICO postings. And then second interface for the replication of only the CO postings actually, replication of CO postings. So 
very very important okay f i n s c so f i n s underscore c fin underscore very very important please make a note on this so now earlier what we have given here accounting accounting document represents for both co and fi because this is going to be calling as a FICO replication. But here I'm not going to take the accounting. Here I'm going to be taking only CO. Okay, only CO. Okay, CO. Okay, we are going to be generating. Okay, central underscore post. This is for CO. And we are doing the third one, which is going to be for the replication of the cost objects. Replication of the cost objects. So, fins, fins underscore c fin underscore c o because we are repl replicating the objects. So, c o I'll, I'll clearly mention here objects. Object, okay underscore assign so these are the three interfaces so in certification also you have to make sure that so you can you can easily identify which interface represents which one so when i given it as a c ac underscore doc this is what exactly we call it as interface between document from the ac system to the central finance system that is for the fico and when I given the CO central posting, that is nothing but CO inter integrate, that is for the CO in CO interface. And when I given with the cost object center finance means that is going to be called as interface between the cost objects. So these three interfaces, these three interfaces are very, very important to have the documents flow from the CO to FI. So once the documents are going to flow, this is always make sure that this is going to be called as a trigger based. We call them as a trigger based. What is going to be trigger based? Trigger based is nothing but where the application there are two ways are there to flow the data from the uh, source system to the target system one is going to be calling it as a table base another one is going to be calling as an application based but here in our yeah, SS uh, yeah Mahesh, that's a question i want to explain the difference between uh between application because fico is example of application where cu and objects is an example of uh, uh table uh, replication can you just explain the difference between the two please yeah so why i'm going to be calling you see if it is a one-to-one -one relationship means if you have the ecc to sap s4 hana central finance then definitely i will use the table based but here i have the non sap systems also when i take the source system the source systems are also be acting as a uh, source systems are also going to be acting as a non sap system so when I have the sap and the non sap system the table base will not work why because when you go when you go to the non sap system those who are going to be acting on the different tables which are not equal to our sap which are not very similar to our sap tables they have different tables when I replicate the data, the replication will not work from the source system to the target system. If I'm talking about the non sap not about the SAP. So what I will do, I will do the extraction and loading the data. Yesterday we discussed one point, extraction and loading the data where I'm going to be creating some staging area in the SLT replication server. Those staging tables, what it will do, it will take the data, means it what once the extracting of the data has been done by through the interface or you can there is a something called as a manual jobs are going to be run once the data has been uploaded so this slt what it will do it will do the mapping and it will send the data to your center finance but here what is happening i am doing the application based i'm not it is not completely based on the table base application means non sap system to the sap that is central finance so in the same way what i will do here in the source system when you take about the sap system here so it is a table table based but i'm not going to be using why because for the non sap systems i'm going to be using the application base so the same application base i will also use for my sap also so if your source system is only the sap then i will use the table based but if your source systems are going to be sap or non sap system then i will use the application based triggering of the source data from the source to slt from the slt to the central finance so this is very very important i hope you got yes. the answer sir yes and i let me let me add one more thing there is another pro product called sap by design which i work with okay. sap by design 
is not an example, is not a ECC source system. Mm -hmm. We use, it's, it's considered the non-SAP systems and use a staging area for, for replication. That's what I told. Staging area is going to be in the SLT. So staging area is going to be the SLT. In this staging area, as if you see the, 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 the one diagram which I've been showing yesterday, so I, I showed one diagram to all of you. So if you see this diagram here, so for the non-SAP system, so what we will do, see for SAP systems, okay, we are directly, we are interfacing with the RFC connection, okay, through the functional module, and we are replicating the data here through the two accounting, so through the three accounting interface, as I told you, the CO, FI CO replication, CO replication, third one is cost object replication. But when you come to the non-SAP system, here, I can't work with the RFC connection. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the extraction and the mapping of the data in the staging area. This is the staging area where I'm going to be creating in the SLD. So there is a separate staging area I'm going to be creating. So this is what exactly I call custom development service based okay, scenario or SAP partner solutions with the predefined mapping templates implementation. Yesterday, I have given you, if you still remember, in the, if you go to my back classes, I have given you some staging tables also header line item debit credit and the bat line item and the withholding tax and so there are some staging tables those are going to be calling as the staging tables which we are going to be creating or these are the custom tables which we are creating in the staging area so once we have done the extraction of the data from the non sap when you do the mapping here once the mapping is successfully completed then through the trigger base i can see the document will flow to the central finance so here like this the document will go to the central finance so once the document has been entered into the central finance, so we have called as interface, which is going to be calling as AAF, Application Interface Framework. We call it as application. So whatever the errors, we have to monitor the errors. Once the document has reached to the central finance, the, 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 the central finance, what it will do, it will go to the DMG font. The, the MDG is nothing but master data governance. In this master data governments, it will go and check whether all the fields have been properly mapped or not. If there are any errors, you can trigger through the AF. AF is nothing but application interface framework. Okay, so when I go into the CPC here. I wanted to tell you for the benefit of the class, hmm. SAP by design is considered, considered as a non-SAP system, okay? What's SAP up? SAP by design, okay. Another you know, SAP product is considered as a non-SAP system, okay? Definitely. So I was reading through that. I wanted to share that information with the class. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, Mahesh, <laughs> sir. Uh, the interfaces you just explained to us. Uh, where do we see? We see it in SC twenty-four or SC thirty-seven. Which one, sir? Interfaces, sir. Those interfaces you can see in the SLT. SLT interfaces, those are. Those are SLT interfaces. Okay. Oh, yeah. So what is happening? Okay, let me check why the, my password is not working. Okay, I'll check it. Okay. So those interfaces actually see. I'll, uh, okay, the, you're talking about these interfaces, na? So these interfaces are going to be called as functional modules. Actually, we call them as the RFC functional modules interfaces. Oh, okay. Then I know where to find. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So now uh, what? Uh, uh, yeah, yes, sir. Why, 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 why don't you put up the name up at the top here, uh, Mahesh? What I'll, put, I'll put, I'll put, I'll put, I'll put, I'll put. Okay, so let me first go through the sentence by sentence. Okay, so let me go and make a bit of there is a question. Okay, there is a question has been arised. So let me explain about what exactly which is going to be happened with these three interfaces. See, okay, yeah, yeah. First, let me go through that. Okay, so what is happening here? Uh, I'll tell you the concept very interesting, okay, so that you will understand why these interfaces are going to be used. See, when you take the main scenario of the center finance, when you take a main scenario in the center finance, it is going to be calling it as a real-time replication accounting. We call it as a real-time replication. What do you mean by real-time replication? So what is happening here? There are uh, there are there, there are going to be some FICO documents. See, I'm not going to be talking about the sales document. I'm not going to be talking about the purchase documents. No other document because the central finance only will work with the real-time replication of FICO posting. So FICO posting, no other purchase documents, no other sales document will replicate from the source system to the target system. 
but we have some cost objects like we are going to be treating them as a purchase order sales order these all are going to be calling as objects actually so those objects are also be, should be replicated from the source system to the target system for that i have one more interface which is going to be calling as a civo object replication over here so these all the replications we call them as a real time replications of accounting so without these three interfaces without these three interfaces rfc connections i cannot replicate the data from the source system to the target system the point number 1 and the point number one very very important make make underline it is a real time replication real time replication is nothing but we are going to do the replication once the document have been posted in the source system it is not like extraction and it is not a transformation it is a real time replication once i see the document has got posted in the source system automatically this accounting interface will pick up that particular document from the source system and it will bring to the slt from the slt it will go to the central finance the data whatever the data which we are going to be flowing the data will flow from this particular third that is the middle way which is going to be called central finance which is we, okay this is not applied means what we can say here is nothing but not only used for the real time but also for the initial load of the cost objects whenever i take a system so normally people what they will do here they will make understanding that slt is only meant for the replication of the data from the source system to the target system no with slt is not only doing this replication slt is also making you to available for the initial load of the cost objects and for the co internal posting service initial load what do you mean by initial load initial load is nothing but okay so there are two initial loads are there one is initial load very very important a last class if you see that i had i have shown you two tables one is replication very very important where i have shown it as r r is nothing but initial loading of the data second one is going to be called as replication of the initial load replication that is what we are going to be calling it as a replication so this slt is not only meant for the replicating of the data this slt is also mainly useful for the initial load of the cost objects and the co internal postings please make a note many people in the certification they will make it as a wrong answer very very important so i'm also putting on the desktop also please make a note so i'll also put like this here okay so right now initial load slt please make a note slt is not only for data that is for the real time real time replication very very important not only for the real time replication means not only for this three assignments it's for this three interfaces but also for initial load very very important but also for initial load for what for of cost objects and we can call it co internal postings please so make sure that we are not only using the slt for the replication we are also using the slt for the initial load because see we are going to be creating so many purchase orders or the sales orders from the source system so how this has to be done so this has to be done to the slt only so this slt is not only for the initial loading of the replication this initial load is also meant for the replication of the cost objects and the co internal postings is it clear to you both of you all of you Yes, Mr. Mahesh. Yes, Mahesh. So, yeah, for what what we are what we are what we have to so say. If I want to read the data, if I want to read the data from the source system, then your source system has to be get interface. So here, if I come to that, this diagram is very very important. If you understand this diagram, then the remaining concepts are going to be very easy for you. So when the SLT want to replicate all the data from the source system to the target system, so make sure that there is the RFC connection has been properly designated. if the rfc proper if the rfc is not going to be designated then i cannot have this document fetching from the source system to the target system the point number 1 so whatever the cost objects whichever the cost objects i am going to be talking so it is not only cost centers or the profit centers i told that this is going to be the sales order purchase order wbs sales these all are going to be calling them as the cost objects so these cost objects are going to read the data 
very very important this cost objects where it will read the data it will read the data from the table which is going to be calling it as the aufk please make a note all the cost objects will read the data from the aufk and all the fico documents will read the data from the cfin underscore ct and all the co internal postings will read the data from the co bk and we know that bkpf and the bsec table when you come to the f5 there are two tables are there one is going to be calling as the bkpf another one is going to be called a bsec bkpf is the header table and the bsec is going to be calling it as the line item level table so what happened to these three, two tables any of these two tables are always available in our sap s4 now so as you told that why the bsec so when i go into the sap s4 hana there are two tables these two tables are still it is remain one is the header table in sap s4 hana is always called as the bkpf and we have a table called as acdoca table that is ecdoca table and apart from that we have a table called as the bsec we have a table called as the bsec table is also available can somebody can tell me why the bsec table is still it is there in sap s4 hana this is an item level table mahesh i understand right. that see ac see when i come to the central finance when i come to the central finance central finance is nothing but my sap s4 hana system i am right so right. in my sap s4 hana system so the line item level table already we have the table called as ac doc get table this is going to be calling as the line item level table so it will contains all the fields what are the fields which it contain it contains the gl accounting it contain the asset accounting it contain the material ledger it contain the co documents and it also contain the profitability analysis of the account base so those these all the five components whatever the postings you are making to all these five components so these fields are available in the ac doca table which is going to be calling it as the line item level table but apart from this ac doca we have one other table also which is going to be calling it as the bsec so bsec is also line item level table but why these two tables are required in sap s4 hana yeah hey mahesh mm. is this i'm just i'm just taking a guess is it for for creating the cds views no yeah i don't think so either i, I don't know why why do we have to have bsec table okay. what's the reason now why it is going to be required is nothing but okay so let me go to the new ppt very very important that the flow is very very important today's class i told in the previous day so the flow is very very important for us now there are two views are there there are two views are there one is going to be calling it as the entry view and the second one is going to be called as a gl view gl accounting view if you see any documents in sap s4 hana when the new ledger is been implemented when the new gl accounting has been implemented if you open any document any financial document i'm talking only financial documents there are two views are there one is an entry view another one is the general ledger view okay so now i want an answer from you all of you what does it what does this entry view and what does this general ledger view is going to be stands for what is the purpose of this two views don't know what about I, I i see this is a, this is not a, this is not about the question i'm asking in the central finance this is not the question which i'm going to be asking in the sap s4 hana or neither in the central finance even if you go to the sap ecc also we have this entry view or the general ledger view so when you, you you have posted so many documents in sap so you once you go to the fb03 transaction okay once you have given your document number you will see the two views are there what is the purpose so i go to the sap now for one second i'll go i i'll go to the sap so that you can okay you can correlate here very very important i told i'm telling that so don't skip anything so yeah mahesh is it a, a bp and uh, the bp view and general ledger view no no so entry view is what you post um, and uh, gl view is including the derived entries like uh, documents to splitting etc mm, yes sir one if you are you are partially correct sir okay so let me take here see i'll go to fb03 
I'll go to FB03. I'll take a one company code, 7010 is company code. I'll take the documents as the 2019. Okay, see here. Now I'll go to the list. So I'll replicate okay, 2019 documents. So let me take one document which is going to be calling it as a uh, like a like a like a very, very very important okay so i'll take something called as re okay that is going to be called as invoice documents okay now if i execute now see here there are say okay there are there is one document so double clicking on it now here when you see this document here when you see this document so this document has got posted here if i click on the header now if i see the document here now this document has got posted through the Miro. Miro is nothing but invoice. So from where this document has come? So this document has come through the integrating of your MM module with your FI. That is through the general ledger accounting. So once the MM consultants have raised the PO, again as the PO, they will do the goods received. Once the goods received has been successfully completed, they will do the invoice posting actually. Vendor invoice posting. We call it as a vendor Miro. We can call it as a Miro transaction. So this is the Miro. Okay, this is what exactly the document date here. Now, what is the accounting entry? How okay when 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 the document has got posted, the accounting entry is nothing but the vendor account. The one four double one is nothing but my vendor account is getting created, and my GRIR clearing account will become the debit. GRIR clearing account will become the credit. So I am not directly posting in FI, sir. And this document has come through the accounting interface from the MM to FI. Means it is an integrating document actually. So I can see this document has got posted in my general ledger here. So here there are two views are there. This is what exactly I call it as an entry view. Entry view. You can see here. This is what exactly data entry view. Now if I switch to the general ledger view, you can click on here. If I click on the general ledger view, now see here. This is what exactly general ledger view. Now you can see the document has got posted to which ledger? The document has got posted to the OL. OL is nothing but your leading ledger. OL is nothing but your leading ledger. So there are two views are there. If I again switch on to the entry view, if we click on the entry view, the document will be switched on to the entry view. And if you want to switch on to the general ledger view, this is the general ledger view. Now tell me what is the basic difference between the entry view and the general ledger view? Now? Entry view tells us where it has come from. Okay. And uh, the general ledger view is actually mm -hmm. Uh, reconcile at GL account level. Exactly. So now there are two views I'm going to be talking here. Okay. Now let me take a same example only. Let me take a same example. Now this is what exactly the Miro document. We can call it as the invoice document here. Now let me see here. Now when I when I when when I take a MM when I take a MM material management. Okay. This is a module where they are going to be raising the PO PO and with the goods received. And with the, okay, after that, they will do the invoice receipt. Okay. Now there is two documents which are going to be updating in my general ledger. One is the GR, another one is going to be the IR because the financial documents are getting updated from the GR and the financial documents are getting updated to my IR. IR is nothing but just now I shown that. Okay. So IR is nothing but my role, which is going to be calling as the invoice. Okay. Which is going to be calling it as the invoice. Now. This is what exactly the invoice document number. I, I'm just displaying over here. This is the invoice document number. You can see very clearly. This is the invoice document number. When I open this invoice document, invoice is nothing but an open item document. Are you accepting or not? Invoice is always called as open item. Why you are calling it as open item? Because this particular document tells about what is the total payment. I need to make the payment to the vendor because vendor is an open item here. I have to debit. I had to credit total 60,000 INR to the vendor account because this is an open item. Open item is nothing but outstanding. So this is an open item. So when I open this document in my general ledger, when I open this document in my general ledger, I have seen that the vendor account has got created and my GRIR clearing account has got debited. Now, this document will be shown in both the tables. Now I'll go to the both the tables now. Okay, see, very, very important. Now I'll go to AC 16. SE 16. First, I will open the BSEC table. First, I will open the BSEC table and I click on the entities and I'm selecting work okay, company code and everything. Now, here, what I will do, I'll place the document number. See here, I'll place the document number. I'll give the company code 1710 and I'll give the fiscal year 2019. Okay. Now, I'll open one more screen for the AC DOPA table.
So this is for the AC docker table. Now, if you see the information, if you see the basic information here, if I go back one step back, see here. Here in the input parameters, when I come to the BSEC table, I don't see the field which is called as a ledger. Ledger is not updated. But if I go to the AC docker table, I see the field which is going to be called like it as a ledger. It is going to be calling it as a ledger. Now, you, from this screen, you can come to understand entry document will flow the data. Entry document will flow the data to the BSEC table. Very, very important means all the entry documents, you can see the data in the BSEC table. That is the entry documents will be flow to the BSEC. And the ledger documents will flow to the ACDOCA table. Very, very important. Now you can see here means all the open items, all the open item managements are going to be still stored in the BSEC table. And ledger specific documents are going to be stored in the AC Docker table. Very, very, very important. So if I come to the same document once again, if I come to the same document, here you can see entry view. In this entry view, I don't see any ledgers here. I don't see any ledger, whether, whether it is a leading ledger or whether it is a non-leading ledger, I don't have any kind of information. If you see this screen, I don't have any kind of information here because this is the entry view. The entry view always will go and store in which table? In our SAP S4 HANA, it is going to be stored in the BSEC table. And if I switch on to the ledger view, if I click on switch on to the ledger view, I can see here, ledger has come. The ledger is nothing but the OL. Ledger is nothing but the OL. And I want to see what are all the other ledgers. So if I click on, so it is not only posting to the OL, it has posted to the 2L, M1, and ZH. So all these four ledgers have got updated. All these four ledgers, you can see ZH. And if I switch on to the OL, if I click on the OL and press enter, I can see the OL. Means all the four ledgers have been got posted. So AC Doka table is a ledger specific document and <coughs> for the open item management means what is the open item management tomorrow if i want to clear this document tomorrow if we are making the payments very very important so tomorrow i need to make the payment of 20 60 000 inr to the vendor so if i want to make this payment the payment the open item will take out the document from the bsec not from the ac docker because ac docker is a ledger specific document and bsec is the line item level document for the posting of the transaction Clear now? Any doubts? Your question has been answered, all of you? Yes, Mahesh. So, in this case, so when you come to the central finance, so whatever the FIC or document posting is, it is, not, it is not only going to be reading from the, it is not going to read the data. So when I, when I open this document here, it is not going to read the data from the BKPF and it is not going to read the data from the BSIC. And when you come to the controlling, it will not read the data from the COEP table. Very, 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 very important. It will only read the data from the COEP because COEP is going to be calling is a head table. So, if the system is not going to read the data, if I, if I see the normal FI documents, BKPF and the BSEC are going to be calling it as a line item level tables. But if it is not going to read the data from these two tables, then how this FICO interface is going to be work? Because we have a central tables. We have already implemented a node. So, so there is a two node. There is a node which tells about so which table the data is going to read. So the data will read from the CPIN underscore ACCHD and the data will read from the CPIN underscore ACCIT, not from the BKPF, not from the BSEC. Please maintain, please. So central finance will never read the data. Central finance will never read the data from the BKPF and the BSEC. Central finance will read the FICO postings from the CFIN underscore ACCHD and the CFIN underscore ACC ID, which are going to be calling as a dependent table. That is the reason. That is the reason. Due to this process, we are going to be calling it as central finance using the application based replication, not a table based replication. We call it as a application based replication because it is not going to be reading the data from the BKPF and the BSEC. It is going to read the data from the central finance tables which are available in the source system. So that is the reason 
we call it as a application based replication and we have another replication also called as table based but here we are not going to be using the table based we are going to be using the application based replication where where which is very very important where i can tell that which the data is not replicated from the table to table but it is going to be replicating as an accounting interface uh, mahesh i got a very fundamental question this is ajay yes. Yeah, what I'm confused about, you got BKPF table and you got BSEC table out there, okay? Which is yeah. a header and detail from, uh, okay. Now, central finance, the, the two, ta two, two tables here, CFN, ACC, HDB, the header and the item. I, can you just describe or write down what is the rationale if somebody says, why don't you, why couldn't BKPF and BSEC couldn't, couldn't be used? And why did they have to create the CFIN AC, this, uh, the new tables? Why did they, what is the reason for creating that? It's one simple reason. What is the reason for creating CFIN tables instead of reading the data from BKPF and BCHAT tables? Hey, Ajay, uh, actually, I have, a, I have a similar question, but I will put it other way around. Go uh, ahead. To me, that's a fundamental issue, fundamental question. Exactly. So I wonder why they have given that provision only to BKPF and BSEC again. Why not for controlling and cost objects? Why they haven't done something similar? So that was my question. I mean, maybe Mahesh can take it from here. Now, can you put out the question once again, sir? So my question is, I mean, instead of getting the data from BKPF and BSEC, okay. We are getting it from CFIN and uh, underscore ACC HD and underscore ACC IT. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, why is that they have given a special provision only for finance side, but not finance and controlling? This is for finance and controlling. Right. But why See? they haven't done the same thing for cost objects? I mean, they could have done the same thing for the AUFK table. Ah, very good. See, as I told you that, now I am going to be calling it as a not a table to table replicate. It is going to be called as a replication based integration. So I'll tell you the way. See, I'll tell you the most important here. Why? Because there are two things. Putting the question is very good actually. So I'll tell you the answer here. Now, okay, I'll remove this middle table here. Yeah. Now here you, you see there are two tables are there. One is going to be calling it as a BKPF. Another one is going to be calling it a BSIC. There is a data structures. We call it a table data structures. Now these two table data structures are different from the source system to the target system. Very, very important. Actually, now we are bringing a new table in SAP S4HANA, which is going to be calling it as a AC Doka table. So in SAP S4 HANA BSEC table is only maintained for the open item management. BKPF is the header table. Always BKPF is a header table for the AC ROCA table. Forget about the BKPF because we are only replicating the data from the header level table. But now when you see the data structure changes from the SAP ECC to SAP S4 HANA, a lot of changes have been happened. Why? Because now if I take only the BSEC, if I take only the BSEC replication, I can only integrate. So I can only bring the data to the BSEC in the S4 HANA. So I'll put like this. Okay, now I'll just remove, I'll remove this all the part. So it will be easy for you to understand. See here. Okay. Now, when I take this SAP ECC and when I take this SAP S4 HANA, this is my SAP S4 HANA. And this is my SAP CFIN system. That is the central finance system. So we are talking about why from the B why from the two interfaces. Okay, why not from the BSEC? So if I take the BSEC, the BSEC is going to be available in SAP ECC and the BSEC is also there in SAP S4 HANA also. But when I take the BSEC, when I take the BSEC, the BSEC contains only the 
FI related postings, very, very important. CO related postings are no more available in the BSEC table, only FI related postings only. That is the line item level postings I can see in the BSEC table table, not as FI, CO related tables. The CO related table, we also have one more table which is going to be calling it as the COEP. COEP is nothing but this is the table where we call it as CO line item level table. BSEC is the FI line item level table and uh, for the controlling we have one more line item level table which is going to be calling it as the COEP. Now when I take this both the tables only the accounting related interfaces means whatever the transactions you are making related to the FI and CO only those are getting replicated to the CPN. Only those are getting replicated to the CPN. But when I see the data structure, from the data structure point of view, what do you mean by data structure? Now we have all the transparent tables in our SAP ECC. No, sorry, in our SAP S4. We, all the tables are going to be called as transparent table. Very, very important. See, if I go to the SAP, if I go back, one second. One second, sir. It just hang out. One second. Yeah. Now, if I go back, if I go to S eleven, now when I see the BSEC table. When I see the BSEC table, now in it, I'm, I have opened the system in SAP S4 and not in SAP ECC. When I click on the display, see now all the tables in our SAP S4 and they are going to be calling it as a transparent tables. Earlier, if you go to the SAP ECC, these are not the transparent tables. These are going to be called, we call them as the cluster tables or we are going to be calling them as the line item aggregate tables. Now, from ECC to SAP S4 HANA, we see there is a database table structures are going to be the different between if I replicate the data through the BSA. So what is happening when I bring the data to my SAP S4 HANA, my data structure is completely different. I cannot do the mapping because what is happening because here it is going to be calling it as a transparent table at the column not storage but when you take the data from your SAP ECC those are going to be called as the cluster tables with the row based storage so the mapping cannot be happened the data structure mapping cannot be happened between the source system to the target system so what we have done in SAP here, what I have done in SAP, instead of fletching the data from the BSEC table, instead of fletching from the BSEC table, what SAP has done, once you implement a node, there are two tables are going to be triggered automatically. Very, very important. So what this is the default. So once you have implemented the node, I can see there are two database tables. There is a center finance database tables are going to be updated automatically. Whatever the documents you are posting to the BKPF and BSEC, the same documents I can see in these particular two documents. So one is the header, another one is going to be calling it the item. So instead of fletching the data from these two tables, where what is happening, the data structure of the BKPF and the BSEC is completely different between the source system to the target system. Now, whatever the tables, new tables, tables you have in the source system, I will take the data from these two tables with a very similar data structure to my central finance system, not as like a BKPF and the BKPF. So when you come to the cost objects, when you come to the CO objects, Forget about the FICO. When you come to the CO objects, the CO objects are nothing but purchase order, sales order, WP settlement cost table. For this, I don't require anything of the new SAP S4 HANA tables. So directly, I can flesh the data directly from the AUFK because these these particular these cost objects will not have a, will, will be the same just like a, a data structure of the cost objects in the source system and the data structure of the cost objects in the target because they have the very similar database structure in both source system and the target system. So for the cost objects, I don't have any kind of worry because the, the, the database structure is going to look same both in the source and the target. But when I come to the FICO postings only, 
when i come to the fico posting cell because i'm fetching the data i need to fetch the data from the bkpo i need to fetch the data from the bsec i need to fetch the data from the uh, coep table so instead of avoiding because these three tables the data structures are completely different between the source system to the target system i had given you new i had given you the new i had given you the new tables from today onwards instead of fetching the data from this two you can directly fetch the data from this two new tables where these tables are very very similar very very important very very same sure. and similar to the database tables of your central finance system which we are going to be calling it as the ac doka sure mahesh this is the the answer to the question that this is a this is an interview question this is also a recertification question yeah the 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 structure of the of the uh, of the s4 hana tables mm. for fimco are substantially mm. different okay and that's what yeah. we're doing this number 2 for cost objects the structures from ecc the from ecc and in central finance are very very similar we basically mirror image of each other okay? very same and, and similar to very you you have to answer like this very yeah. same and similar to the what you have to say very same and similar to the database table structures between the source system and the target system database table yeah. structure and the driver of this is akadoka table because akadoka akadoka table is one one central general okay and that format that table is very different then what we have we see on the ecc side so see if an acc hd table or acc it the able to simulate what you call simulate aqua doka table so that this replication can take place through slt at the end the out, uh, the output of uh, of of central finance system is nothing but universal general so what we are trying to do is to emulate the scenario in the source system side to create echo doka table time structure and i correct yes you are absolutely correct why because as i told you that these database tables doesn't have the same similar structure between the source system yeah. to the target system because if you if you took the if you took the transactions out of source systems mm. you would have to build a echo doka uh, echo doka uh, table structure basically Out of facility or somewhere else, okay? You're not going to feed that exactly. You're See, if I take the same database tables, for example, if I take one, for example, I'll take one example. Now, mm -hmm. if I want to place the data from the BKPF and the BSEC, so what is happening? I cannot find out any kind of errors. First of all, I need to identify the errors first of all. Basically, when I'm placing the data from the source system to the target system, why I'm bringing the three interfaces? One is the interface for the CO FICO postings. One is the interface for the CO replications, and the third one is going to be calling it as the cost object replication. Why I'm going to be taking these three interfaces? Because see, whenever these interfaces are implemented, these implement these these interfaces are implemented as a part of AF. AF is nothing but which is going to be calling it as the accounting interface. framework because this accounting interface framework which is a which is the one of the tool which i'm going to be using for monitoring and error handling of the replication data so how where i can monitor so if the data mapping is not properly done where is the tool which i can understand these are the mapping scenarios these are the mapping errors you got so the data cannot be posted to the central finance so these are the errors which have been got corrected because of this three interfaces only i can do this mapping and i can monitor this error corrections in the af af is nothing but it is going to be calling as the application interface framework if i take the data from the bkpf and bsec i don't have this kind of monitoring in my central finance system first of all basically one more thing mahesh this is important if you go back and take a look at s4 hana versus ecc open item reports have been eliminated What I am doing, for S4 Hana open item reports have been eliminated. They're no, not no. There. SAP S4 Hana open item reports are never eliminated. SAP S4 on the open item reports are still it is there. So if I go to the, for example, if I go to the slash and see, for example, if I go to the slash and so where what is the transaction you are going to be seeing for the open items of the vendor customer and the GL, FBL one N, FBL five N, and FBL three N. 
So these are the three uh, reports where I'm going to be seeing whether open item of the GLs or open item of the vendors and the open item of the customer. Those see without the open item, without the open item of the customer, mm. vendor, and the GL, how I can clear the central payments in my mm. SPS for Hana? Let me say one thing. I, I read it somewhere. I'm not sure about that. I read it somewhere. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm just bringing this as a statement, okay? Not as a fact or anything. This is what I have read, okay? And I just wanted you to reflect. No, sir. Open items are still maintained, but that is the reason I mean, the open items will take out the data from the BSEC table. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Rajesh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rajesh, your doubt is clear? Uh, yes, Mahesh. Uh, Mahesh, I actually I am in the system EPX. EPX is a uh, EPX ECC. is the a source system. Yeah, which is ECC. Exactly. And uh, I just checked BSEC table. I mean, okay. because I worked on this table several times. Okay. It, it is a transparent table. Yeah, here we have maintained the transparent table. Why? Because I'll tell you the reason. Why? Because if you go to the normal, because here the underlying database is going to be the HANA database or we are going to be taking, because here we have taken, if it is a transparent table, if you are making it as a transparent table, why? Because the data structure between the ACC to the SAP S4 HANA, from the data structure level, this table data structures are different, even though if it is a transparent table. In, if you go to some system, not forget about this system. If you go to some other system, if you go to your office system or something like other system, it cannot be the transparent table. It can be called as an aggregate table or it is going to be called as a cluster table. Why? Because why I have taken the transparent table to make you the understanding the difference between the transparent and the aggregate table. Okay. Yeah. If you go right. to your if you if you go to your system, if you go to your normal uh, in your office when you when you are taking SAP ECC, you see the BSEC table over there. It will not be a transparent. It will be like a cluster table or it will be an aggregate table. Okay. Yeah. Good to know because I I developed a couple of interfaces. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One. Yeah. But that's good to know. Thanks, Mahesh. Now, all the doubts okay. have been clarified. Very, very important doubt. Thanks for asking this also because uh, uh, this is this will give some, some more information. So I hope I, I clarified your doubt. Yes, sir. Yeah, you know, one thing that I see here is this, that if you look at ECC or S4 HANA, those fundamental table structures, what they're trying to do, take ECC and emulate ultimately Akadoka table and put the bells and whistles in place, which is AIF basically in my mind, okay? Exactly. And that, is the re that is the reason, otherwise you will have had to do it somewhere else. Yeah, and one more also, so I'll tell you sir, okay. sir, one more also, even though if they are okay. going to be the transparent, okay, let me take the BSEC table is also transparent in my SAP ECC and my SAP S4 HANA. But when you take the SAP ECC, sir, when you take the SAP, so for, okay, now Rajesh has told that uh, um, uh, Mahesh, both the tables are transparent here and here. Okay, very good. I don't have any worry. But what happened to the line item level table? But here in the BSEC, you can post only up to 999 line items. But in your SAP S4, Hana, when you take a line item level tabling of AC Docker table, it will post up to 999, 999. So what is happening when a document, when a document contains more number of line items, Apart from be, be behind this 999, if the documents have got posted more than 999 line items, then the accounting interface will also fail in CFIN also. Why? Because if I if if I take the similar data structure of the BSEC and if I take the similar structure of my BSEC over here, then what is happening? If the line items are going to be more than 999, the accounting interface will not trigger 100%. Then that is the reason, one of the basic reason here also, what I'm going to do here, you can also post more than 999 line items. You can also post more than 999 line items from the ECC to the SAP S4 HANA, where the table data structure I have developed more than that is what 999 and 999. This is one of the basic fundamental we have to understand here also, for the line item numbering and the line item posting of the documents. Yeah. Clear, Mahesh. I, I think I got more answers. I mean, like I'm just uh, uh, googling, you know, and I found the more I found the reason. Also. <laughs> Sir, uh, I just googled and I found the reason for my question. Uh, it's very interesting. Thank you. <laughs> what is the answer? Is this same? Is this very? Is this no, what no. which I which I told? 
Or it is different. I, yeah, actually, you're right. I mean, uh, if you if you see in ECC, uh, yeah. it looks like a transparent table, uh. but underneath in the application level, mm -hmm. it's actually clustered because it contains. Uh, I mean, it, it it has data that goes across multiple tables. Okay. Exactly. That's what I'm telling. Yeah. Yes. And uh, one other interesting fact was like you know, mm -hmm. uh, many years ago. I mean, this is little. Uh, hard to believe nowadays. I mean, but mm. this could have been the case. I don't know. I'm not disputing on that. Mm. So what they're saying is this particular table has so many columns and uh, it was so difficult to manage uh, so many columns in one table. That's why they decided to make it as a cluster so that uh, the information spread it across multiple tables. Same thing, sir. What I explained. So everything will come at the cluster only. So we are, we don't have the cluster tables in SAP S4. Simple, I told in one line. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So, so my question, what did you Google? Um, what was your question that you Google? No, no, no. Rajesh has Googled the difference between the SAP S4 HANA and the ECC table differences. Okay. All right. Very good. No, actually, I, I did not Google exact the same way. What, what did I, you Google? What did you Google? My Googling was... <laughs> I want to know. What did you Google? My Googling was, is BSEG a cluster table? Okay. And, and if so, why? I mean, because in the presentation server, I see it as a transparent table. And I have, double, I have developed many interfaces and I have used BSEG tables straight from my interface. I have to read some records uh, because the, all my interfaces goes to this table, pick records and sends out. So I never, it never occurred to me like, why? I mean, I haven't looked at it. So I got curious and I looked at it. It's good to know. Google has answered to many questions, you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> but uh, but uh, you can, you can, you can also trust me also, Ajay, sir. <laughs> my dear friend, you are the daddy of Google. <laughs> 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 I know. So, so Mahesh, uh, Mahesh, Mahesh, your new name is Daddy of Google. Okay, you you know too much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because Google see, see, I am just. I told that if I follow your uh, certification material, yesterday I have shown you the certification material. If I follow the certification material, I I am telling that you will only getting the information related to the certification, not as a real time experience. That's the same. Here, sure. whatever the subject which I'm going to be delivering on your board is completely based on the real time about my experience, which I'm putting on over here. Because I have done two yeah. SAP a central finance project, end-to-end -end project, very complex projects I have done. So you can get much more information actually. So yes, one at one situation, at one day, one situation, what is happening if I'm not going to be available with you? Then 100%, you will get some information from the Google. Definitely, everybody, even even if even even if I'm working at the first project in my central finance, definitely I need to Google and I need to get the information. But once I got this kind of information, once I'm able to deliver this information to you all of you, then definitely I can tell that I have a confidence in the subject where I can give all the clarifications to your questions. But 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 yesterday we got all we got every all the elements of this uh, of this class together. They're working in unison. You are able to tell us your story, your experiences. I went and looked at two chapters, so there is some synergies. I mean, and I find it. Very you very refer nice. to uh, Rajesh, uh, Rajesh, and uh, Yogesh, and Rajesh and Ajay. You re because see, there will be a lot of people who are telling about the central finance classes. You can refer to the YouTube's and you can refer to any kind of thing. If somebody tells the same thing, what I've been explaining like this on the board, if somebody gives this kind of information, I'm ready to refund your fees back. Pardon? I think Rajesh has understood. I think Rajesh has understand my answer here. Yeah, you, you you want us to uh, you want us to recommend you. I will more than happy to do that. But you know one thing, recommending people to the right forum is important. I think one of the ways we can do is use LinkedIn. One of the things we do very well, we do technical, but we don't, I mean, I'm on the demand side. I want to create the demand, okay? When there's demand, there's demand for us. When there are projects, there pro then there's demand for us. The question is, how do you create the demand? You know, one thing, at the end of the day, I'm a marketing guy as well, okay? I come from both sides, sales and as well as program management. The okay. whole idea is this, we focus on technical, 
But you know one thing, one of the questions that they, somebody came to me and asked me today is this very important. How do you take the technical information and you give it to the business people so they can understand? Similarly, this technical information, the great job you are doing, Mahesh, we need to orchestrate in a manner so it can be, it can get visibility. There's mm -hmm. a platform and you can start you know, I said to you many times, guys, Carlton Hilker, I know him very well, okay? He's the product owner of Center of Finance. He worked with me at CSC. I know okay. Carlton Hilker. I know. So somehow the other, there is a central group, Center of Finance group on LinkedIn. Why not we have three, four people here, think about it next a week or two, one topic, and we can start writing some of the key things that you are talking about. And by the way, it will give you so much visibility. You'll be yeah. darling of people's heart. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, that's, Ajay, that's a very good valid point. I mean, you know. Uh, yeah. It's a very so, valid you know, point. I, I don't even know. What's your name? I'm sorry. I mean, we are four people, five people in the class. I got into Rajesh. I wrote to Rajesh. I know just one, but I don't know you. Who? I mean, uh, what's your name? I'm to be honest with you. I. I Next week, you'll get my all my information in the link lead. I'll give my name and I'll show my LinkedIn to profile everything. So don't tell to anybody for the God's sake, okay? So just keep it with you, all of you three only, okay? Do me a favor, just send it to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. So, so let, let, let me, let let me complete this, okay? Let me complete this, yeah, okay? Yeah. So, yeah, this is the replication. You're replicating the data from this three accounting interface from this, okay? This is the replication. So from the yeah, CPIN, yeah. ACG, okay? Now, there is a one more which is very very important called as initial load when you see there are two tables we are going to be talking one is the replication tables another one is the initial load replication mm -hmm. tables will read the data from these three accounting interfaces that is the three accounting interface but when you come to the when you come to the initial load when you come to the initial load initial load will not read the data from these two tables very very important initial no. load is nothing but it will read the data from this bkpf and the bsec and the bkpf and the coep and the something controlling tables are the ce 4 xx 1 table 2, 4, 3, 4 tables. So initial load will read the data from these three tables and uh, replication data will read from this particular table. Very, very important. You have to Because initial My load goodness. is always the data we are loading from the source system to the target system. I did not know that. That's fantastic. That's good. Okay. So I'm going to be yeah. sharing this document to you all of you after this class. So these are the PPTs which you are going to be getting. And the next class, we are going to be seeing the process of handling the errors in your SAP Central Finance. Okay. Thank you very much, all of you. Yes. Uh, quick uh, question. Uh, how, how many more weeks you got for this class? How many more uh, weeks? Four weeks. Four weeks. Four more weeks? Four, four, four. No, no. How many sessions are left? Uh, you can take up to 20 sessions. So how many, so how many sessions are you going to give? That's what I'm saying. Uh, don't, call, call. No, don't, don't go on to the session, sir, because see, if I go on the sessions, I, it will be very easy for me to complete the topic. So I'll go, I'm going each and every topic in a detailed way. So let it go. How many days it will go on? It will, it will wants to go, please. Okay. When do you take a uh, master? After, after, approximately, you can take up to four weeks, sir. Okay. Fine. Well, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Mahesh, please don't forget to upload that document I request. No, no, I'll do immediately, sir. Yeah. I'll do immediately. I'll do immediately. Immediately. And, immediately. And, and, and Mahesh, AJ Rustagi, send... Send your um, the stuff that you were talking. Send it to me, okay? okay I'll, I'll do the marketing for you, okay? Okay. Right, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank Ajay, you. Ajay, I just sent yeah. a request to you. It's Raj. Thank you for attending the session. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to visit our Vimeo page and follow for more upcoming videos.